grown every year, that's for sure. The economic impact's grown, the number of people that have attended have grown, even the number of sponsors that come through Little League have grown. So um, this is really a special year too, I should mention it's the 50th anniversary of the Little League Softball World Series, so um, special emphasis on this year. So with Greenville being a smaller city and uh, majorly focused on the college town around here, it's definitely very nice to have that like big groups coming into town. Um, I definitely think it helps. It de I see how it helps the girls here. They um, definitely get some good stuff based on like having the good business and our restaurant I feel like does really well with it as well. Local sports bar tiebreaker says that during last year's series, we had several of the teams come in. Some came in a few nights uh, in a row during that time. Um, and one night we even had, I think it was the night of the championship, we actually had both teams come in after the game. Um, so that was really fun. It was definitely crazy. Um, so based on that, we're definitely planning to hopefully get a good time this year around as well. So this year, so far we are preparing our staff just to be prepared for big rushes and things like that, making sure we have the best people available um, working those shifts. Um, we also have been preparing our inventory, making sure we have everything ready for the business that we'll, get, that we'll have coming in. And when it comes to watching the games? We do anticipate a good crowd. We've got some teams that are, are closer than usual um, through the Mid-Atlantic and the Southeast region, so we think that's going to help attendance as well. Uh, but we've also marketed a lot uh, this year to just regular softball enthusiasts throughout the, the Mid-Atlantic to have them just come and watch uh, you know, great softball. Visit Greenville says they're contracted to host the series until 2027 and hope to someday be the permanent home to the series. You can watch the games at Elm Street Park or on ESPN Plus. In the studio, Lauren Beachy, 9, on your side. Lauren, thank you.